we're announcing this new repo today. Let's build a connector under uh, AKA uh, NDC Learn. Uh, connectors are going to be uh, front and center in Hasura V3. So we've seen a lot of uh, different examples of connectors on uh, previous community calls. I think we'll see some more today. Um, we're going to be providing um, some some default uh, integrated connectors out of the box. So um, Postgres, obviously, uh, TypeScript, which we've seen on the community call already, um, which subsume a lot of the functionality um, that you've seen in Hasura already. So Postgres, obviously, as a as a primary data source in Hasura, and then things like Actions um, uh, being subsumed by the the TypeScript connector and similar connectors. So when we say uh, that connectors are for data sources, uh, we say data source. You know, data source can be quite general. Um, it could be something like Postgres, like a relational data source. It could be a NoSQL database. Uh, it could be a set of actions. Um, and, and we want to express joins just like we do between databases, between, let's say, a database and the arguments of an action. Um, so we're trying to really uh, combine more things under this umbrella of, of connectors. It could be some flat files that you have on disk um, in some proprietary data format that's unique to your company. Um, but whatever uh, bytes you have that you want to get into your Hasura graph, we want to make that as easy as possible. So um, we're trying to produce as many learning resources as we can, and this is the latest one. So we already, just to highlight some of the ones we already have, um, there's the NDC specification here, which is, is linked from the repo. Um, that's here, uh, which uh, Rahul had in, had in his slides. So this is more like a, a sort of book type format. Um, it's very sort of, uh, it's a specification. It's sort of very factual. You can come here, as, use it as a reference. There's also a reference implementation um, that you can use as a guide. There's a section on testing. So if you want to uh, do, use a sort of test-driven development, which we, we do in the NDC Learn repo, which I'll show, um, you can use these testing tools that we provide in order to make sure that um, the thing you're building, your connector actually um, does follow the spec and meet the, the specification. And you can also use it to do uh, to implement custom snapshot testing, which I'll hopefully also have time to show. Um, so we have the, the specification, we have the reference implementation, uh, and we have several examples, right? So here are some connectors um, that we have already. So ClickHouse, Quadrant, Dino, um, in addition to the reference implementation. So there's already quite a lot of different types of learning resources, but everybody learns differently, and we want to provide as many different um, uh, resources as we can. So this is why we're announcing NDC Learn today. So this is uh, a new short form video tutorial course that's going to go through the construction of a new connector for uh, SQLite that runs on your local machine. Um, we start with the basics. So there's a setup video, which is uh, nine and a half minutes long. They're all quite short. Uh, then we go through one feature at a time. So right now we have predicates and we have sorting. Um, and, you, and soon we'll have more. So uh, we're planning on doing aggregates next. After that, probably we'll take a look at relationships. Once we have relationships, there's a lot more sort of advanced predicates and sorting that we can look at. Um, there's also uh, things like how to integrate your connector into uh, Hasura. So we'll do a walkthrough of that. We'll do videos on things like tracing, metrics, error reporting, uh, all sorts of uh, observability and, and things that are uh, sort of uh, off to the side, not not actual coding, but like how we want to uh, get a sort, of, uh, sort of best practices for integrating that connector into, into Hasura as well. Okay, so uh, what's in the repository? Um, this is uh, in addition to the videos, which you can find under the videos directory, and each one has transcripts. Uh, this is also a TypeScript uh, repository, um, a TypeScript project repository that has um, the, the code, uh, and you can look back through each of the commits and see you know, step by step how each one of these things was implemented. Uh, and it's a very, very simple uh, TypeScript project. The goal is to be as easy to understand as possible. Um, so you can take a look through the code um, and, and uh, we'll walk through step by step, you know, uh, the, the construction of this, um, the construction of this connector. So I'll do a quick demo as well. Hopefully you can see my, uh, my VS code. So this is uh, a fresh checkout of the, uh, of the repository, actually. Uh, it's just to show there's nothing up my sleeves. So I'll, uh, uh, do an npm install do an npm run build okay so now the the connector is built it's in the disk directory so i can run um node dist index.js and this is my connector now ready to run um, so this is sort of a standard cli that the typescript sdk provides 
Um, it's the same CLI format as the Rust SDK, so you'll always this, this should always be familiar no, no matter which SDK you use to build your connector. Um, so I can run the serve command, for example, and it says configuration is missing. Um, so I have a configuration JSON file here. Uh, here. Uh, and this is uh, com a configuration for this connector. Um, and we talk about in the videos uh, the, the format of the configuration here. Uh, this is a configuration for this SQLite database that I'm uh, going to be using on my local machine. So now the connector is uh, running, and we'll, we'll serve requests from that uh, SQLite database. Um, so I, I mentioned test-driven development. So at each stage in the videos, we we do run the test suite just to make sure that we're, we're seeing progress and more tests uh, turning green. So let me open a new terminal, and I'll show you how that works. So here's the test runner, NDC test. Um, it has a test command. Uh, and it will say I need an endpoint. So you can give it the endpoint for the connector, which um, for this connector that I just started will be running on localhost 8100. And you get to my output that looks like this. So it's going to uh, fetch the capabilities. It says it validates OK, fetches the schema. That validates OK. Uh, then it's going to generate some queries. Um, you don't have to write any of these queries. It actually uh, makes some request inputs, um, sort of synthesizes them from the schema that it gets. So it sees, for example, um, there's a table called albums. So it will issue the effect effectively the, the equivalent of like select style from albums. Um, once it gets um, some rows from the albums table, now it has some data, now it can synthesize predicate queries, right? So it sees there's a um, ID one, for example, it can say where ID equals one. And it works like this, uh, sort of testing features one by one. So we see um, the features that we've implemented are passing the test. That's great. Predicates and sorting. As I said, those are the videos that we've currently covered. But we haven't covered aggregates, so uh, so that those are failing right now. Um, I also mentioned, you, uh, and you get a detailed breakdown of uh, exactly how things failed as well. So I also mentioned that we can do snapshot testing. I can do that by providing a snapshots directory. Um, it'll give me the same output, but now I have snapshots on on disk of all of the test expectations uh, that were generated um, and the requests that generated them. Right. So here's um, some NDC query IR for a query against the albums table. It has a limit of 10. It has a where clause, and this was synthesized from the schema. Um, we're saying where the artist ID equals five, and we expected to see this JSON response. Okay, So we can create our own test as well. We can uh, replay, uh, retype out some of this, sorry. We can replay a custom directory of snapshots. So I'll, I'll use this directory as an example, but I could provide my own snapshots in this format as well. So here it's just working through these hashes of uh, query requests, and it's saying each one is passing, it's, it's meeting the expectation. But if they changed, um, then we would start to see these fails with, fail with a, with a diff. OK, so we can use this both as um, generative testing, um, get some tests for free, and we can also use it for custom unit testing, uh, snapshot testing, that is, uh, with uh, custom files that we add. OK, so uh, that's the, the test-driven development approach that we're going to use uh, in the repo in each video. And finally, I'll just give a quick demo of uh, what it looks like to deploy uh, to Hasura. I have some depl uh, deployment metadata here. This is um, uh, metadata for uh, Hasura v3. I'm not going to go into details on this. Um, there'll be documentation about all of this, but I'll show how the, the deployment actually works. So we can say Hasura 3 um, local. I'm just going to refer to my notes. Sorry, local init in this directory. Um, it gives an error, but uh, it's actually OK. I'm going to revert uh, the metadata to the one I already had, because init is going to override it. Um, I'm going to also create a project. Go with this metadata. I'm going to take this project ID and copy that into my Hasura YAML file. And because I'm running an old version of the CLI, I just need to patch this. This was wrong. It should say default, not prod, but that's OK. So I'll save this and then uh, deploy this to Hasura Cloud. There's Cloud Build Create. I give it a project file. Sorry about YAML. It creates a build, gives me a GraphQL endpoint and a console URL. I can go there and see, uh, fingers crossed, that this is now connected to my tunnel. Uh, to my local machine running SQLite. So if I pull albums, ID, title, artist ID, 
should get some data. So this is now serving requests off of my um, local machine through a tunnel uh, from Hasura Cloud uh, down to the SQLite database on my disk. So I can say where, for example, artist ID equals uh, five, or let's say one. There's two rows. Uh, and back in my logs over here, um, I can see that the connector is indeed generating the right SQL. It's actually going to my SQL light database, uh, parameterizing the query, uh, and everything is working just fine. So that's um, the idea. You should hopefully be able to um, clone the repo and follow the steps that I just went through. Um, in order to do the deployment, steps at the end there, you will need access to uh, the early access of uh, Hasura DDN. And there is a link in the repo uh, for anyone that wants to uh, walk through this and try it with their own uh, connector as well. Uh, if anybody wants to uh, access uh, DDN to try this all out, then there's an access uh, link here.